so here today we will see how to book the free tax invoice so basically uh, <coughs> like accounts payable we have the invoice journal but in account receivable we don't have invoice journal it is called a free tax invoice so now in free tax invoice you can book the invoice to go to this accounts receivable module and then go to the invoices and then all free tax invoices all free tax invoices you can select the revenue account because in your case uh, vendor case it is the expenses in uh, customer it is the revenue so go to the new here then you have to select the customer account so select the customer here then this address and everything will come then you go to the this is the line level details in line level you directly write down the description for that so if is if it is other ex revenue so you can say other ex revenue other income or you can say scrap sale or whatever okay so your revenue account you should know that which may revenue account is for maybe for something so there could be a discount so there could be the other revenues so you can say a freight outbound we received income from that so quantity now here you can select the quantity also but in this you can skip quantity if you want to put maybe suppose 10 you can put the unit price 500 then the amount will appear automatically so what is happening here customer is going to be uh, here revenue will be credited and customer will be debited so this entry this entry will be we have selected the customer at the header and here only we are selecting the revenue account that's it and quantity uh, and then price unit price and once you done this you can just save this post it okay so these are the free tax invoice and simply say okay so this this entry is just like a invoice we book for vendor payment it is like the revenue from the customer uh, uh, account okay once it is posted it will display into the journal form so you click here the journal invoice journal so for this free tax invoice you can see the there you can see the voucher in payment uh, vendor uh, invoices and here it is called journal so if you see this is the journal and for this journal you can see the voucher this is the journal and then you can see the voucher for this also yeah here is the voucher so similarly once we see the see, see the how to pay to the vendor we can also see the how to receive from the customer so let's see the voucher first i again we if we have to post any sales invoice sir again we have to make it through post it through sale order only sir ha there is a one way is sales order another way is free tax invoice yes 
okay it is taking time but uh, let's uh, go to the another moment and just check the data uh, how to create the customer payment okay now uh, that invoice got posted now go to the account receivable model for uh, customer payment go to the receivable and then from receivable you will get the payments so go to this receivable model go to the customer payments customer payment journal and then create a new payment journal select the payment journal from here customer payment then this is the receipt we generally it is a receipt but it is called customer payment you can put the description or uh, other income all description you want whatever description you want you have to put here go to the again lines same way like you have settled the vendor you can also settle the customer receipt select the customer so we have selected this customer fourth coffee india select this then go to the settle transaction so if that got invoice got posted that journal it will available here so just see that okay but it got posted i guess so click here and this is the journal 5000 rupees correct yes just select this mark this say okay and then this is appearing here automatically everything details will come here this now this is the receipt so this customer account will be credited and bank will be debited so click on the bank <coughs> select the bank account Okay, what are the method of payment you received? You select the method of payment. How did you receive that payment? And change the status to send. Here it is not mandatory. The status changing, and then you post it. Validate and post. Okay, so this way you can create the customer. Retax invoice and then create the payment, settle the payment and post it. So you are posting will be have voucher now. So this is the trade receivable is now get credited bank is debited. Okay. Similarly, you can go to the customer and uh, see that. Uh, Transaction into the customer master. Go to the customer. Go to the all customer. Go to that particular customer. Click on the transactions. There are the transactions. And you will see all these transactions. And uh, Again, if you if the amount that is not settled, for example, here the pre-tax invoice for this, which is if it is not settled, it will display in the balance. If it is settled, it will display zero. And this is the payment. This is the uh, invoice. And you can also see the settlement here. So settle transaction, then settlement history. You will see which is payment is knocked off with this. And if you want to undo the settlement, you can do the undo from here also. Okay. 
so this is all about the how to create the fintech invoice how to create the fit uh, say a customer payment entry and how to settle this you can also reverse this we'll see the reversal later